Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and in this tutorial for the new Boston I'm going to be talking about string length and why it's useful and how we can do it. Now as you know we can create a variable with a string type uh, which will automatically be created with us. Um, so let's do that now. I'm going to create string and then I'm going to call this um, or set this to the value of Alex. So we've got four characters in here. Now what we might want to do is we might want to um, find out how many um, character is, character, characters sorry, are in this string. So we can go ahead and we can create a new variable and I'm going to call this string length and that is going to be equal to, um, uh, we need to call a function now to be able to grab the length of this string. So I'm going to say str len so short for string length and then inside here we're going to take one parameter or one argument and this is going to be the variable of the string that we want to count so we want to count the specific amount of characters inside uh, a string here so I could in fact just to supply this with an amount of characters so I could say um, how many characters does this have Okay, so now what we can do is down here we can echo out string underscore length. Now let's just preview that in our browser and see what happens. So you can see we've been returned with the result 35. Now that in fact means that there are 35 characters in this string, uh, obviously not including the, um, the uh, single quotation marks on the outside. So let's just test this out, something we can monitor. Let's just type the character A. Now let's come and refresh and you can see that says 1. So uh, let's uh, look at how we can probably like calculate a predefined string. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop the variable name in there and that will transfer this data here into here. So now we should uh, have the result 4. Okay, so we've determined how to count a string length and then how to output the string length. But why would we want to do this? now? There are a few different reasons why we would use this strlen function. Now the first main reason would be obviously to count the amount of characters, but we might want to loop through, using loops in PHP, loop through each character. And the way we do this is we use either use, um, I mean I would personally use a for loop, but you could use a, a, a while loop, a do while loop, or a for loop. So let's say we were using a for loop to loop through. Now maybe, um, Maybe I won't show you the example in this case because you may not have looked at for loops yet. However, um, to loop through a certain amount of characters, we would need to first loop through the first character, then the second character, then the third character, and then the last character. Now, how would we know when to end this loop? How would we know when we'd reach the end of a certain uh, amount of characters? Well, the, the answer is absolutely simple. We would start at one, and we would end at the string length because in actual fact that if we were looping we'd loop once, twice, three times and four times and we'd end to loop through each character of this. Now let me just actually start up an example because this is going to um, allow you to see it, uh, see it a lot better. So I'm going to say four and I'm going to create a variable with the um, value uh, 1. So if you haven't looked at for loops yet, go and have a look at that and you'll understand what's going on here. So for x equals 1, we're going to say while x is smaller than or equal to um, something. Now something here is going to be the length of the string um, and after this we need to say x++. plus plus. We're incrementing each time. So the string length here needs to be uh, determined. So now what we can just do is put string length straight into there. Now what happens when we echo our x? Let's just keep an eye on what happens. We can append a break to this as well. So let's go and refresh. You can see that we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 and 4. That's because we're already echoing that out there so we can get rid of that. Okay so we're echoing 1, 2, 3 and 4. So you can see that already we're counting through and we're only looping uh, four times because we've determined that the string length is there. So this example might not particularly make sense to you now but later on when you need to loop through um, a string or um, 
well, yeah, a string, if you want to loop through a string, you'd find this useful because you can determine a string length and then set a boundary for how many times you want to loop specifically.